Hello and welcome back to part three of our slightly more in-depth look at anchorages around the BVI. In our last episode we were in the North Sound and even though in the chart briefing I said to go to Anagata, we are not because there's only one anchorage there and we're going to look at an anchorage that we haven't discussed as well as Jos van Dijk in a little bit more depth in this episode. On the way to Jos van Dijk there's a good spot to stop which is right here which is Trellis Bay. In fact all of this is quite interesting here. Uh, even though we're not going to go into it in any depth at all, we can touch on it in another video, which we will do soon. As you leave Virgin Gorda to head towards Joost van Dijk, there's a, an anchorage that I want to talk about on the way there, as well as a couple of great spots to stop and snorkel. First of all is that the dogs are an excellent place to stop and snorkel. This is national parks, no overnight uh, mooring at all. Also excellent diving, highly recommend it. As you head towards Joost van Dijk, stopping at Trellis Bay is a great spot. Although not the most picturesque anchorage, this anchorage, which is in here, is right at the end of Beef Island Runway. It's actually a great and fun spot. With epic monthly full moon parties, a handful of fun restaurants and bars, and a very vibrant artist colony at Aragon's Gallery, as well as a small grocery store proximity to the famous Loose Mongoose, and the last resort, the Trellis Bay Market for a little reprovisioning, as well as Jeremy's Bar and Restaurant, and of course, Hi Ho for all of your board-based activities and fashion needs, Trellis Bay is an ideal spot. And here is where you can pick up and drop off crewmates at the airport, or in a totally unrelated way, drop off your garbage or replenish your supplies. I do crack myself up. The entrance does require some concentration, as you can see by looking here. So please consult your cruising guide and your charts, and don't deviate. We strongly suggest that due to busyness in high season, that you pick up a mooring ball in here, as it can get quite crowded, especially during the full moon festivities. This is a very convenient and very secure anchorage, and also well worth it for replenishment, and quite frankly, a little bit of fun ashore, and also some of the water taxis to other places around the BVI. While we're not going to focus on any of the other attractions or anchorages in this area, Marina Key and Scrub Island both have great facilities and are great fun, and we're now going to head towards Joost van Dijk. Here we are, we're just leaving Trellis Bay now, and we're going to head down the North Shore to Joost van Dijk. Situated to the east of Joost van Dijk is Little Joost van Dijk, Green Key, uh, Sandy Key, and these are spots are well worth a visit. At Diamond Key, which is right here, is Foxy's Taboo. Uh, for those not familiar with the BVI, Foxy is perhaps the most famous inhabitant. He has Foxy's Taboo and of course his eponymous Foxy's at Great Harbour. However, there are several other great choices when visiting this area as well. Diamond Key is an anchorage only when the conditions are right and if there's a southerly wind or a northerly groundswell, it can get rolly in this harbour. And even though there are mooring balls, this should be considered a day anchorage in anything less than optimal conditions. Ashore, as I said, is Foxy's Taboo. This is a fun bar and restaurant that is surprisingly cool. Nearby is the Bubbly Pool, which is a sort of rock pool and a fun diversion. This is best when there's a northerly swell, although the swell through the pool can get strong if the northerly is particularly strong. It's kind of like a, an overly excited hot tub. Uh, we suggest that you wear water shoes for the walk from Foxy's to the pool rather than flip-flops for safety reasons because it is a little bit rocky. Green Key, which is right here, this is the postcard picture-perfect beach you always see and want to visit. The water is that enchanting turquoise color and the sand is the color of a, and consistency of sugar. There's a scattering of palms and nothing else. We suggest taking the dinghy ashore and having a picnic. This is a day anchorage only and is very, very exposed. Sandy Key, uh, just when you think things can't get any better or any more picturesque, then pops up Sandy Key. Again, there's nothing here but the sand, the turquoise water, and the interior greenery, which are an irresistible draw. Again, this is very exposed in a day anchorage and is only for optimal conditions. Next, we're going to have a quick look at uh, Joost van Dijk itself, and we're going to start on the easterly most point with Little Harbour. Little Harbour is a fairly well-protected anchorage. There have been some moorings put down, but because the anchorage is relatively small, it makes anchoring an exercise in carefully calculating how you're going to swing. Once that's all sorted out, be sure to be confident that your anchor is set properly before leaving the boat, as the holding can be a little bit challenging. Ashore, there are three restaurants and a small grocery store, which offers limited but useful selection of items. The two standouts for me and the places where we used to go when I lived in the BVI were Sydney's Peace and Love and Harris's Place, which specializes in lobster. 
Both are incredibly friendly and the food is fantastic, especially the grilled slash barbecued lobster. The next anchorage to the west is Great Harbour. This is the home to Foxy's and when Foxy's in residence, he is always available for a little color and a few humorous songs. The food is a Caribbean grilled selection is very good. And as with all bars in the BVI, the drinks are well poured. Watch out for the wobbly knees. Also in Great Harbor, you'll find a place to drop your garbage by the ferry dock, a bakery, customs clearance, and for those coming or going to and from the US, a small grocery store, a homely little five bedroom uh, hotel resort, and of course, Corsair's Beach Bar and Restaurant with great food and a little something for everyone. There are memories to be made in Great Harbor, some of which you can share, and some not so much. Again, further to the west is the last anchorage on Joost van Dijk. This is the very famous White Bay. This is a day anchorage only. It's a very beautiful spot and is a good anchorage under normal conditions, but can be exposed and untenable in the winter. The holding is generally very good. There are two breaks in the reef to get into and out of the anchorage, one here and one here. They're marked well. Don't use any other way to enter other than the two that are marked. Please don't anchor or obstruct either entrance and always consider how your boat will swing if it's anchored close to the entrance. Ashore is the place where the painkiller was invented. Not at pusses like they'd have you believe. The soggy dollar is the spot. In fact, on our website very soon, we're going to be putting up a live cam of the soggy dollar. Once you've done a reasonable amount of sampling of the painkillers, uh, they have thoughtfully provided hammocks for you to laze away the afternoon and recover. A little to the east of the Soggy Dollar is Ivan's Stress-Free Bar and Restaurant. I think the name says it all and all you need to know about Ivan's. Good food, great drinks, and remember, your knees will get wobbly. That's about all we're going to have time for this week. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And as always, we'll see you next Thursday where we will be redoing our video of the Buy the Cabin Charter concept. This is a great vacation concept and suitable for everybody, even those that don't sail. See you next week. Thank you.